Ugh, what a tough workout that was. Right, Mr. Bear and Mr. Snowman? Mr. Bear and Mr. Snowman and I just came from the gym and we had a really tough workout. We were lifting so many weights, we were running a little bit, and now we are starving. We gotta give our body some extra energy. Good thing I have this giant bowl of 15 pretzels for all of us to eat. Now I know if I have 15 pretzels and I'm sharing it with myself and two of my friends, that means I need to take 15 and split it into three equal groups. Hmm. I think that means I need to do 15 divided by three. How am I supposed to do 15 divided by three, you guys? Hmm. Hmm. This seems tough, Mr. Tom. Why don't we draw a picture to try and figure Wow, Mr. Snowman, that's such a good idea. Whenever I have 15 divided by three or any division problem, I can just draw a picture to figure it out. Hmm. I know I have 15 total pretzels. That's my first number. Why don't I draw my bowl and then put my 15 pretzels in it, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there's my bowl with my 15 pretzels. The next thing I should do is draw my three groups. Why don't I draw my three friends? So one group for Mr. Snowman. Let's give him a little top hat. This is my Mr. Snowman with the carrot nose and the mouth. Then over here, I can draw Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear has these big ears like this, and he's a little furry with whiskers, right? There's my Mr. Bear group. And then there's me. Cool, so we have our three groups set up. The last thing I need to do is just split my pretzels equally among my three friends. So let's do it. One, two, three, I'm crossing out from my bowl, and I'll give them out. One, two, three. Let's keep going. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so right now everybody has two pretzels. But we're not done yet because we haven't crossed out all of the pretzels in our bowl. Let's keep going. One, two, three. 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 Oh, I don't have any more pretzels to cross off, which means I must be done. My answer to 15 divided by 3 is going to be how many pretzels one person gets. Hmm, if I look at myself, I get one, two, three, four, five pretzels. So my answer to 15 divided by three is gonna be five. Let me just double check by looking at my other groups. Mr. Bear got one, two, three, four, five pretzels. Okay, Mr. Snowman got one, two, three, four, five pretzels. Cool, so everybody got five pretzels. That means when I have 15 as my total and I split it up into three groups, I have five as my answer. But Mr. Tom, I don't like drawing pictures. Is there another way to solve this division problem? Okay, Mr. Bear doesn't like to draw pictures. Lucky for you, there is another way. We can solve this division problem with repeated subtraction. If you draw a picture and you still don't get it, this is another way to do it. We can take our total, 15, we can write it over on the side, and then we can just subtract our next number until we get to zero. Then we count up how many times we subtracted that number, and that'll be our answer. Let me show you what I mean. If I take my 15 and I subtract 3 like this, I know 15 minus 3, I stamp 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, it's 12, so I'll write my 12, and then I'm going to circle my minus 3. After that, I need to subtract 3 again. 12 minus 3, hmm, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, it's 9. Okay. I'm going to circle my minus 3 again. See, I'm counting the number of times I'm subtracting 3. Let's keep going. 9 minus 3. 9. 8, 7, 6. My answer is 6. I'm going to quick circle that minus 3. Now I do 6 minus 3. Hmm. 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, my answer is 3. 
and then let me circle that minus 3 again. I keep doing this until I get to 0. So I have 3, I'm going to do another minus 3, hmm, 3 minus 3, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, it's just 0. Okay, I've gotten to 0. Awesome. So now that I have 0 as an answer, I'm going to count up how many times I subtracted 3. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I subtracted 3 5 times to get 0. That means 15 divided by 3 is just going to be 5. Is that the same answer that we got before? Yes, it is. Cool. All of our work checks out. Okay, so we just learned two methods for division. The first one is the draw a picture method. In this method, we draw our total, just like we did over here. We draw our number of groups, so we have our three groups, one, two, three friends. And then we split our total equally amongst the groups, just like we did over here. We cross them out and then we split them all up equally. For our next method, we have repeated subtraction. In repeated subtraction, we just write our total, the first number, up here. We subtract our divisor, that second number, until you get to zero. So we keep subtracting that second number until we get to zero. To find our answer, we count how many times we subtracted. We subtracted one, two, three, four, five times, so we had our answer of five. Friends, this is all we need to do in order to divide. If one of these methods doesn't work, you can use the other one to check your answers, okay? Let's do some work in Nearpod.